Grade 4 math, number 104, degrees of a circle. Angles are measured in units called degrees. We also measure temperature with degrees, don't we? The, simple, the symbol for degree is a tiny circle on the upper right side of a number. Like that. Degrees. This is a circle with an angle of 20 degrees in it. See that? So we write 20, and in the upper little right-hand corner, we put the little tiny circle for degrees. All right, I'll explain this in a second. A circle measures 360 degrees all the way around. Imagine a circle that has 360 points around its edge. All right, look at all these tiny little points, okay? Each point is one degree, or one 360th of the circle. Now this is only 115 points because my marker tip was so fat. So can you imagine how small one degree would be to fit around this circle? A one degree angle would start here, and it would just be one of these tiny little but see, this is 115, so it would be even tinier than that for a one degree angle. All right angles, like this, the square angles, are 90 degrees. See? That's 90 degrees. It's like a box, isn't it? And they usually have a little box in the corner here at the vertex to let you know that it's a square angle, that it's a 90 degree angle. So that's a right angle. All right, well, because there's 360 degrees around a circle, one-fourth of the circle would be the 360 split into four parts. See? If we did this, each one of these parts would be 90 degrees. See? And the whole thing would total 360. See? 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360 or 90 times 4 is 360. So one-fourth of a circle is 90 degrees. One-fourth is equal to 90 over 360. See, it's 90 parts of 360. So here we go with this one. This angle is 20 degrees. Remember, that's 90, all right, the square one, and this little part would be 20 degrees. Each angle appears wider as the rays get longer, but it's not getting wider because when we measure it, it's still a 20 degree angle. See, if we measured it here, it's still a 20 degree angle. It just means our circle is really big, okay? But the measure does not grow. The rays get farther apart, but the measure of 20 degrees stays. Isn't that weird? So if 90 degrees is a square like that, half of it would be 45 degrees, because 45 and 45 is 90. See, 45 times 2 is 90. These are each 45. So splitting it right down the middle, we split that 90 degree angle into two parts of 45 and 45, see? 45 parts of 360 is one eighth of the circle. We can get eight pieces this big, like eight slices of pizza. Can you imagine that? Okay. So half of the 90 degree angle is 45. Now, because the whole circle is 360, half of it would be 180 degrees. See? It would make a straight line. Half of it is 180 degrees. It's 180 over 360 parts. This is also called a straight angle because they actually measure the angle and how big it is, it's called a straight angle. See? I've got one right here. I've got a right angle, and I've got a straight angle. It's so open that it laid flat at 180 degrees. It's like two right angles opened up. See? So, that's a straight angle. So remember that half of a circle is 180 degrees, okay? Because 180 plus 180 makes 360, all right? I want you to remember, pardon my light there, that when we want to reduce or raise a fracture to higher terms, we divide it by the same number to reduce it, 
or we multiply it by the same number to raise it to a higher term, okay? So we can see one-fourth, if we times the numerator and denominator by 90, is 90 parts of 360. Or if we divide 90 over 360 by 90, we see that it's one-fourth, okay? So angles can be any number between 0 and 360. It could even be half of a degree. This one's 30 degrees. That's an acute angle, right? Because it's smaller than 90 degrees. Those are acute angles. This one's bigger than a 90 degree angle, so it's obtuse. It's 110, right? Our imaginary 90 degree line would be like coming down like that. So that's bigger than 90 degrees. It's obtuse. And the angles inside of triangles are measured in degrees. An equilateral triangle has 60 degrees in each interior angle. This angle is 60, this angle is 60, and this angle is 60. In an isosceles triangle, where two sides are the same length, and then it's got a base of a different length, then the two bottom corner ones are going to have the same measure, and then the top one will be different. This one is 80, 80, and 20. See? In a right angle, we have a right angle of 90 degrees right here, and then we've got a 70 and a 20 over here. See that? So depending on how long this line is, is going to depend on what the measure of the other two degrees are. See, what if I made it really tall like this? See? Then that one wouldn't be 20. It would be bigger, wouldn't it? That one would still be 90, but then these would probably be 45 and 45 because they're bigger. In an obtuse angle, we've got an angle that's really big, bigger than the 90. This one's 130. And then we've got two smaller acute angles, see? 30 and 20 in this obtuse angle. So triangles can be measured in degrees. So those are degrees of a circle. Remember, there's 360 of them, okay? Sorry about my focus there. And remember that even though the rays get longer, the measure doesn't get any bigger. It's still the same measure. Remember that one-fourth of a circle is 90 degrees. Half of a circle is 180. Half of a 90 degree is 45, all right? And we're going to keep talking about geometry, and I will see you in the next video. I hope this helped. Bye.